Guys, this morning, Burner Brother Antiques, we're gonna do the whole day today. I'm starting right here at the house. What we just did, uploaded our video. I just spent about an hour getting it edited out and uploaded. Uh, having coffee with Silka, and now we're headed to the Antique Center. Let's go. Hey, I was gonna head out to the Antique Center, but I found Jimmy set up. Is this your stuff? This is my stuff. Yeah. Jimmy is set down, down here at yard sale. He's got a yard sale going on. He's got a yard sale going on. Man, let's see what we got here at Jimmy's. Now he's bought, you buy stuff for more than 25 cents. Like like that you put in the antique center for five and eight and ten bucks, don't you? Yeah, Shannon does. She sells them for six bucks in the well, antique center. You were putting it out here for a quarter. Uh, that's her. That's, that's her stuff. Well, she's got to put yard sale prices on it since it's out of yard sale, huh? That's correct. That's funny. I think that's hilarious. Okay, let's see what else Shane and Jimmy got. So. That looks cool. Five bucks. Okay, we're gonna buy that one. I can at least buy one item from Shani. Let's see what else we got here. Look at there. Three dollars on a cut glass bowl. It's pressed glass. Those are pressed. Ten dollars for a canister set. Man, she's got. Look at all the jewelry she's got. Ring. Fifty cents. See there, Shannon knows how to sell. Look at that one there. That one's a, a dollar. Wow, Shannon. Bargains on her jewelry. Uh, a pair of Bradley purse. Wonder how much that one is. I can sell that one too. Huh. Pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can't buy a few things. How have you done so far, Jimmy? Good. Really well. Other people have been buying stuff all morning. Been been selling stuff all day. And then we got Lieutenant Dan over there. I know, aren't those really cute? Yeah. I think that's something that's sellable for sure. Then what, what? So we're sitting here in Donaldsville, guys. There's our old auction house right there. And uh, Jimmy's set up in our parking lot over here. Uh, Donaldsville yard sale is happening. So today the whole town's having a yard sale. Pretty cool. So we're out at the antique center now. And uh, look at there, they're all wrapping and packing back there. Let's see what they're doing. And then packing, that's what we have happening back here. Check it out. So they're getting stuff done, putting boxes, wrapping it up, printing out labels. The jewelry show. This is the Friday night bulk jewelry show. You're getting it shipped. Did you, uh, no, and you haven't started on the other one yet, right? Nope. So two shows of jewelry to get shipped out today. About uh, 200 items total. 180 items, uh, something like yeah, that. Right under 200. Just under 200 items. So they'll get it all packed up this morning. All right, guys, we're out front here in the parking lot. Uh, cars are starting to show up. We got some people coming in. It looks like it's going to be a nice day to go antique and a little cloudy outside. So uh, hopefully we get a uh, good crowd in here this morning. Guys, something that happens here on Saturday mornings is we have a lot of dealers that restock. And so I'm going to go catch uh, some of our dealers that are putting fresh merchandise in and uh, see what they're putting in. Let's go have a look. Dealer restock happening in case 3268. And we'll, we'll check back in after a bit and see what the case ends up looking like here in a little bit. But he's getting it redone. I like that. Uh, rearranging some stuff in here. Guys, I'm at case 3262, and again, a fresh restock happening. So you got to come check him out. A lot of inventory is uh, interesting in this one. Um, what I've noticed when I walk by this case is it's always unique, and they always put fresh stuff in it. They're here all the time. So lots of little stuff in here to buy. Um, come check it out. Really cool pieces here, too. I like that crucifix. I'm going to have to buy that one. 18 bucks. Very reasonable prices, too. I mean, look at this. $12, 26 $8, um, $39 on the Fenton Cat. That's a pretty cool piece. The Carnival Glass Madonna, $18. Uh, very interesting items at very reasonable prices. Booth number 3262. Come check it out. That's not just transfer. That's actually different pattern on all different sides. Different pattern on all sides. And it's Royal Royal Tudor. Um, Royal Tudor. Yeah. I mean, English. English. Uh, do, they, do they actually call it, is that Royal Tudor? Would you call that a, a, like a style of chintz as well? Or like what, how does that refer when you talk about chintz and that? Well, that's the... The style of the painting. Okay. Chintz is very decorative. Okay. Lots of, lots of, lots lots of, of color. Okay. Lots of color. Okay. Very cool piece uh, right here again. This is the case right beside it, guys. I just showed you 3260. This is 61. Same dealer and just restocking. I mean, look at that big, big old Fenton basket here for 48 bucks. What a bargain. Uh, just cool pieces. It's fun, interesting. Uh, there's money to be made still. Uh, oh, I like this fish right here for $11. That's an interesting item. Here we go. I got a, a perfume bottle that we just found in a case that I'm going to end up buying here. This one's priced at $29.95. I like the blue color on the bottom. Uh, I am going to go put that on the desk and let Lucas put that up for our whatnot show. So I was just walking back to go show another dealer restock and I thought, hey, I'm going to buy that picture right there too. And uh, we'll put that up on Monday night. 
help a dealer out and then uh, get something else for our viewers for Monday night. Funny, I've had this on our video yesterday and said it was a good buy and now it's up here. So there you go, seven bucks on the box sold. Here's an $8 stoneware croc in the sold bins, both sold. All right, what do we got here? There's the Donald, Donald, Daisy, and Minnie. And these guys right here run $10 each. Uh, they're all sold and these are made by, uh, who is this? Anchor Hawking, these are Anchor Hawking. Uh, pretty cool. Oh, here's a nice little, like maybe like a tobacco, tobacco or a biscuit jar or something. They'll cover covered crockery here for $45. Bennington, it is Bennington. Okay, pretty cool piece. 45 bucks in the sold bin. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh, this is like a Beswick. Let's see what it says on the tag. Beswick, I think so. Yep, that's it. $99 on the Beswick Eagle. That's a cool piece in the sold bin. And here we go. What do we have? We have three chintz plates for $20. And that, of course, is a good buy. Uh, there it's sold. There's a little decorative redware uh, piece for $18 in the sold bin. Uh, that's pretty cool. Vintage Coca-Cola thermometer. This is a Robertson, and it's sold for $68 uh, in the sold bin. Some more advertising up here. Here's a $68 Cavalier sign. Uh, we saw a lot of advertising out of them all. $115 for this guy. It's a spinet. Uh, what is that? A cigarette box. Okay, that's fun. And then this one right here, $155 for the Bounty uh, cigarette box. All three in the sold pile. Uh, pretty cool. This, this wonderful again. couple right here from Urbana, Ohio, and their grandson is into antiques and he's eight. Eight. Eight years old. Yes. He loves my, and you're here shopping for him today. Yes, I sure am. You sure are. We're okay, looking for pottery and salt and pepper shakers. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> and what's his favorite thing to collect? Uranium glass. Yeah, uranium glass. Eight years old, and you guys are encouraging him. Yes. All right, well, give a shout out. What do you want to say to him? Hi, Sterling. Oh, well, there you go. I hope I, I hope I do you good, buddy. That's all right. Well, good luck today. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, so I am in here at the office. I've been walking around filming our, uh, some stuff here at the mall for our videos, and I came across all of these items, so I might as well show you what I'm buying. So this was an $18 enamel pin. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the turtle is just fun to have in, in our little jewelry shows, so I'll put the two turtles in. They were $5 each. And then this paperweight looks really 80s. Uh, it's signed Robert L. Wayman, uh, and it's signed right here. I just thought that was a good look. Um, it's so stylish and definitely the eighties and this, this stuff out of the eighties is kind of picked up in price. So I'm putting that in the show or uh, probably on a whatnot show as well. A uh, little enameled cigarette box, which was only $15. Um, and I thought that was a, a nice buy. I've got the little enamel hand painted rose here in the middle. And also when you open it up, let's have a look at the inside. Maybe I can open it up. Uh, here we go. Can't do it with one hand. I need two hands to open a cigarette case. Look at all the work on the inside. I thought that was pretty special. Uh, and it's got the little box right here. Oh, that's gonna open up again. So I didn't even realize that. So the top shuts right here. And then this piece also opens up, which is kind of different. And it's got a little makeup. Okay, so cigarette and makeup, that is kind of cool. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, this is all art glass. Art glass wheelbarrow right here is priced at $5. I thought, well, that's a bargain. Let me grab that one. And I like the Eagle. Um, I like the brown Fenton and the Fenton, Fenton stuff's been doing really well lately. It's kind of going up swing in price. So I grabbed that one for $17. Uh, right beside it, a gentleman that was restocked said, hey, I want, you should buy this box off of me. And so I was like, all right, let me have it. So $25 for the bone box. It's all bone. Uh, and what's really nice is it's bone on the bottom as well. So lots of work on that piece. Uh, pretty cool bone box. And then uh, this piece right here was a piece of ceramic uh, decorated. I think it's like a ceramic of some sort um, on the slight pottery, but just really cool colors on there. Uh, and that piece was only priced at 10 bucks. So uh, I thought, well, that's gotta, that's gotta go with me. I'm gonna buy that one. And then this perfume bottle, I think I may have shown you this in the case already, but really cool. I like the blue base on there and it's a tall top on it. And I thought that would be good for the Monday night show, $29.95 and it helps our dealers out. So I always like trying to buy a few items uh, every week off dealers here. Uh, and sometimes I'll do a whole whatnot show just from the mall. Uh, and it helps, like I said, it helps our vendors out uh, and gets good stuff for whatnot. And every once in a while I can make a little bit of money doing it. This right here is also a piece I just bought. This is a white buffalo turquoise, which I, I've just not had. And I thought, well, I needed to learn about this. So uh, one of our dealers had it in here. He said he, I could buy it off of him for $400. And uh, it's, so I'm buying it. It's a silver, it is, uh, I believe it to be Navajo. Uh, it is signed. Uh, it says Sterling and it's got a BBT on it, which is BB uh, Sosi. 
um, white buffalo sterling silver piece, uh, pretty cool. And I'm gonna put that up in my whatnot show tomorrow night uh, as a special feature, and we'll see if we make or lose on it. Hey, check out Mr. Eminem here. He is sold thirty dollars. Pretty cool. A lot of this uh, pop culture stuff is really picking up in price. Um, I guess that's what we call it, pop culture. Yeah. But Eminem right here sold. Another pottery piece, Studio Pottery, definitely picking up in price. It's signed right here. Uh, sold for 12 bucks. Okay, here's a really cool Streamline Railway for $115. It is 10. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, probably one out of the 30s, 40s, somewhere in there. Pretty cool. I love the colors on it, red, white, and black. It's sold. Here's an Anna Lee Pixie that just sold for $32. Uh, cool decoration on that one. I like the pumpkin. Uh, original tag still on it, and it is sold for $32. Oh, there goes Al. We got a sold bench, $125 going out the door. <laughs> and there he goes. Audrey and Eliza just got all of this packed up with Lucas in the back, and they're bringing it up front right now. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to check out uh, what Grandma got. It's Sterling, right? Sterling. Sterling, yeah. What Grandma got Sterling here. Hall Pottery. That's pretty cool. All right, $20. That's pretty nice. You got the Christmas. Is that for you or him? It's for me. Okay, I thought yeah. so. I was going to yeah. say that doesn't look like what he would normally want. But a whole group of stuff here. I like the carnival, the little powder box, salt and pepper shakers, two sets over there. That is so cool. He's going to be happy. Uh, yeah, yes, he will. <laughs> I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Bob is trying to find the place to put a flagpole that's too tall. Uh, it won't fit in here. You know, we could put it out there. Uh, on the, good, good Yeah, idea. he said no matter what, he is not letting that touch the ground. And uh, he's got a sold flag. So there we go. He's going to go put it out there and where he can stand it straight up. And then there's a whole cart full of stuff here all sold. This is all for C12. Um, here's a really interesting girl, uh, wh whirly gig. $115 on this guy. That's probably made in the 30s or 20s, somewhere in there. Uh, very interesting piece. It's sold. Put the flag right there oh, yeah. until it's picked up so it uh, it doesn't touch the ground. we got to honor the flag right there. Oh, really interesting teal colored pitcher right here. A 175 on that one. Uh, Italian. Pretty cool piece. It's sold. This is an interesting item. This is an enameled paperweight. It feels like it's a brass, uh, bra I think it's brass. I was gonna say bronze, but they got bronze on the tag. It's one of the two. $119 with the two crabs on it. Uh, it's probably maybe turn of the century, 1900 circa. Here's an interesting pitcher and glass set. These are getting more popular. MCM, $55 on the group. It's sold. Fire King, here we go. The tulip pattern, the two, the bowl here on the top is $62, and then the one underneath is $72. Both sold in Fire King, nice pattern. Like the Quaker Oats box, $30, original price tag on it, it's sold. And India tin, sold for $39, the vintage tin. Uh, right behind it, we have a tin, what is this guy? This is a milk can, I'm assuming. It is $110, it says French Bauer. Uh, metal container with lid. Okay, dairy dairy container. It's sold. There they go. They're not only sold, but they're taking it out to the cash right now. <laughs> I love it. So we have uh, a lot of people moving in every direction. We got stuff being sold, walking up right there. Folks checking out over here. The sold bins are filling up pretty solid right now. Cafe line just started backing up in the last few minutes. So it's lunchtime, and uh, the heart's starting to really pick up a lot here. We got a new a new vendor moving in, 6124. Uh, Nikki, this is Nikki's booth, so come check it out. She's just, just getting it started, uh, filling it up. Uh, we'll come back after a bit and see see the finished product. So she's getting it done right now. I have to come, come stop in, 6124, and check out this one. We're selling a camera, it looks like. Got an offer on it at least, huh? Yes. Yeah. What's the price on that one, 220? Uh, 520. 520, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. What's the offer? Well, this one, they just want the lens. They want to know if he'll sell, sell just a lens. Since okay, so you're going to write it up for him. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, if we'll not, see. then they said they're kind of curious as to how much for the whole camera. 25% off at least, yeah. right? They're having yeah. a special in that booth. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, some more soul bins, guys. Boy, that is beautiful right there. I love the color on the blue. Uh, what was that? Caprice, what it's called, right? Yeah, Caprice, $25. Boy, that's a nice buy on that one on the Caprice for $25. And there's a, a glass here as well in Caprice for $25. Then a salt dish, divided salt it looks like, or nut dish probably, since it's divided. Let's look at the price, $29. Uh, a lot of Caprice selling right there. The Longer Burger Basket's going out. This one's $35, this one guy right here is $40. They're both sold. 
Okay, so we have a $3 jar, a $9 jar, a $3 jar, and a $4 jar, all sold. Check this group out here. We have the art pottery. Uh, I love the drip glaze on this piece here in the red. Uh, let's see, $30 on that one, red and white planter. Beautiful glaze work. I like that one a lot. Uh, and then another planter right beside it. Let's see, that one that looks like a McCoy or USA. It just says USA, uh, $14. Both sold, uh, put that one back. Next shelf down, we have a sugar bucket for $30 that's sold. Uh, let's just go on this whole group for a minute. Next shelf over, $20. Different person buying this. Longer burger leaf pattern tray. Now these are really uh, just nice, nice solid sellable items on longer, longer burgers. There's four of them in there for $20. $20. Now that's a good buy. Um, let's go to the next shelf to the right here and see what we got. These are sold. Matchbox car. This one here, this guy, $150. It's sold. The guy right beside it is $70. Uh, and that's in a matchbox, both sold. Next booth over again, we got some more sold items. Lots of sold bins stacking up here. Uh, the blue and white jar is pretty cool jar. It looks English. Uh, yeah, that's definitely English. Uh, price $16, what a bargain for Flow Blue Jar today. at 16 bucks. The bin above it, guys, there's a lot of country wares in here. Um, there's all kinds of like green and red heel stuff in here. Most of these are usually like eight to twelve dollar range. That one's five. Uh, the mixer here is pretty cool mixer. I don't see a price on that one. Opener. Uh, let's see here the tags on these. Um, priced out at eight dollars. So yeah, there you go. And the milk milk jug right beside it's eight bucks. I like to see is all this country stuff picking back up in price. I mean that's a beautiful ice cream scoop. It's sold for twenty five dollars. Uh, the one right to the left of it is twelve fifty. $46 on this here on the Empoli Green. That's a cool piece for $46. It's sold. Carnival glass dish in the back is $10. It's sold. Cup and saucer right here priced at $10, uh, $19. I'm sorry. And that's an Occupied Japan one. That one's sold. The bling. It looks like bling. Let's see what they say here. $29 on the Cobalt Apple. I don't know. Pretty cool piece. $29. And Derby glass. Uh, $5 on the Derby glass. Next shelf up. Let's keep going on some shelves here. Uh, the boot in the back's kind of a nice amberina color, $15. What a buy on that. Fenton vase right behind it, $7. $20 on this. I bet this glows. That's a pretty cool piece. $20. This one right here, $12. $2 each on these guys. So they're adding the to the glass vase grouping over here. This guy here is priced at $36. And this one at $24. And these are both very large mid-century vases. And a pair of mid-century lamps just coming up, priced at $99. There's two of those. The other one just got taken over to the shelf. And this guy right here is priced at $45. Very cool. It's sold. A little Westmoreland basket beside it, $9. It's sold. Whole group of records here, $5 to $10 each on the records. The drawers in the back are $20. Let's go to the left one. Uh, $18 on this dish here. It's a celery with $18. And that looks like a glass bake, maybe. Uh, $5 on a license plate. We sell a lot of Ohio license plates. A lot of folks buy them on trips going up and down the road. And then check this guy out. Right below it, a German Shepherd just came up. Priced at $19.95. Uh, that's pretty cool. Napco wear, $19.95. It's sold. So right here at the heart, we got lots happening. This is a busy day. I'm gonna go out and check the parking lot in a second, but uh, just wanna stand here and look. I like to look down the aisles and just see how many customers are in the aisles as you look down them. And that kind of gives you an idea. All these buildings, all nine buildings are gonna be full like that. The shelves over here are starting to fill up pretty heavy. Here's some more down this way. A lot of people here, lots and lots of people over here down this next aisle over. Dealers restocking cafe is full um, go to the left over here again just uh, lots of folks uh, in every building right now so it's car lot I'm guessing is gonna be at least three rows deep by the amount of people I see here these guys right here coming in for the burner reunion that's tomorrow a big deal right I think it's world, I mean, flying in from around the world for that one. All over the world. All over the world. All the way oh. from New Carlisle. New Carlisle, Tip City, Donaldsville, Donaldsville, you know. Tennessee. And Tennessee, right here from Tennessee. All right, so you've walked around the mall. You guys find anything? Yeah, she did find the book. Uh, so you found some bookends? Nice. Actually, it came down to choosing. Oh, so you had to make a choice? Yeah, she did. Yeah, we chose one that uh, spoke 
a statement about what we are, who we are, patriot, patriots. Nice. Okay. Where, where you got them in your? Can you show us? Are they with you? You mind showing us what we got here? Okay. Patriot bookends. Let's see what we got. Wrap. They do a good job wrapping. It's like Christmas when you get them home. Yeah, actually, I like the whole system they got here. Where they come and take it for you. And yeah. You a tag. Very efficient. Yeah. yeah. It makes it shopping uh, much easier just yeah. to shop around. Yeah. For sure. All right. Here we go. Patriotic book. Oh, those are cool. They got an eagle on there with a shield in the front, stars yep. and the shield. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, what's the bottom look like? Let's see what we got here. Iron. Okay, they're iron. Beautiful. Are they iron uh, or are they brass? Uh, they're cast for sure. I don't know if it's iron or brass one. Definitely cast. They make a statement of who you are. They make a statement of who you are. I love that. That's so cool. Right here in Springfield, Ohio. We got some sold items going out. All right, Tina, what we got? A ceramic? Yeah. Ceramic? What is this thing? It's uh, a, I think it's like a candle. Thirty-nine dollars. You put a candle in there and burn it. Okay. Yeah. And then a fitting amethyst uh, bowl. Wow. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Ten bucks? Yeah. That's a bargain. Where was that one? Um. Actually, she just came up and handed it to us. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Like I would give her twenty if she wants to double her money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good buy. <laughs> Thanks. Uh -huh. And it's starting to look really good, guys. She's, they've been working all day back here, and look at that. It's really coming together nicely. Got to stop and see it. Sixty-one twenty-four. It's going to be a hopping booth. There goes Brenny out the door. She's been here hanging out all day. Oh, there she goes. She's up there. Our four-legged mascot here at the Antique Center. Mark, what do you think today? We're having a wonderful day. It's a beautiful day at the yes, Heart of Ohio yes, Antique Center. Is. There's a lot happening here. Got some more sold merchandise. Not at the heart, you're missing out. This is this is a hopping in place today. It looks like it's almost like an extravaganza crowd today. Yes, it is. This is a, this is really fun. The lines are full everywhere. There's stuff on all the bins. Uh, I'll just do a walkthrough back here in the sold area. I gotta say, it's always fun when you just see the merchandise getting turned up here. Okay, the leg lamp, I gotta look. Somebody's buying a leg lamp, that's just funny. What was that on, Christmas vacation or something? $34 on that one. Uh, anyways, all these items all sold. The bins are filling up. There's a jar, $59 on that one. Rex up here, let's see what these guys are priced out at. $24, that's a bargain on there, $24 on that piece. Another here with the pink and white flower decorations on it, priced at 42. A yellow planner for eight, all sold. More interesting, I like the fan down there, double window fan, that's kind of cool. I'm good, what does it say? I'm going to let go fix it because I fix it. If I fix it, I'm going to jail. My golly, I gotta get some better glasses on. There you go, guys, check that one out. Okay, so there you go, the sold bins are filling up. Each one of these bins represents a different customer. What I like is they're being aggressive on buying today. I mean, look at all the purses. That one there is 179. Here's some aluminum wear. Let's check it out. $85 on the back piece there. Uh, front piece, $32. Here's another longer burger basket over here for 40. Uh, lots of stuff happening. There's some more purses up there, it looks like. Uh, $35 on the front one. There's another painting that just came up. Oil on canvas priced at 130. That's a good buy on that. Nice pickup for 130. A little printer shelf sold as well. There's sold wagon load getting put on the sold bin. So coffee grinder right here, $49. I mean, those used to be 100, 150. Now it's 49. Interesting guys, it's up here in the sold pile. This is a printing press uh, priced at $324. It just sold, just got brought up front. Uh, pretty cool piece. And that is gonna go out here in just a moment. It's a Kelsey and company. Uh, cool piece. Lots of models going out right here. All sold. Hey, you're wearing the wrong outfit. No, I've got the right outfit. <laughs> the right outfit on? <laughs> That's fun. Harry's in here on his day off. He can't get away from the place. I know. Well, like I say, guys, when you see the parking lot, uh, it's got three rows of cars all the way to the fence. There's some out into the gravel. Uh, that's a lot of people inside. This place is still happening. Uh, yeah, and there goes some friends. Come on, Missy. Come on, kid. Bye. See you guys later. <laughs> They're happy. That was what was going on outside, and uh, the inside is definitely representing the parking lot because this place is fun today. We're back up front at the Antique Center again. We just got done with uh, a little pop-up whatnot. So we sold show. We sold 100 pounds of jewelry. Uh, kind of out of that 13,000 pound group that we had, we sold 100 pounds of it. So we still got a lot more to go, but uh, yeah, we're happening up here at the Antique Center. That's fun. Check back in, and then I got to go meet Josh, and we got to work through some stuff. Aisles are still hopping, it's still happening around here. That's always cool. And uh, we're going to call this a video. I might do one more round on the sold bins real quick. 
This is a cool piece, a little bittersweet vase. It's a big one actually, sold $250 price tag on that. It's a tall one uh, up here in the sold bin. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, silver plate inkwell with an eagle on there, priced at $445 in the sold bin. It's got glass up on the top. Somebody's buying some really fun stuff in this case. Let's see what this piece here is. Uh, little patch box is what it feels like. Let's see what they call it. S13 is a VIN number, priced out for $75. And pewter case with flint. Yep, little uh, flint box in there. Pretty cool grouping in this case. We're sold stuff up front now, a couple books. I like it. This is pretty cool, guys. We just sold a truckload, that pickup truckload there. He's finishing loading right now. And that cabbage head refrigerator on the back right there is sold as well. That's pretty cool. All sold. Was it heavy? Oh, yeah, so. It was heavy, wasn't it? How, how did you and Jacob load that? That's what I want to know. Who? Jacob helped you, right? Jacob? Did you help load? He did he? I think he was with me. Oh, he was I with you, but oh, well, yeah. I, three guys I think outside. I think I think Jacob was helping. That was that was heavy, wasn't it? It was definitely heavy. It was definitely heavy. Three guys helped you. Wow, that's cool. You say he bought thirty-two chairs. Yeah. Oh, so what he do? He used to uh, sell them, but now he doesn't sell them at all. He rent them out. He rents them. Rent them out and he get them back. That's what he do right now. Nice. Okay. He's from, he from England. From England. Hey guys, thanks for shopping today. <laughs> From England. Okay, so that customer is taking us back to England and he rents them out. That's crazy. No, no, he, he rented them here or somewhere. I somewhere. He's renting them somewhere. All right. Yeah, he, he, I got a call today because I got to go. I got to meet Josh. We got some things we got to work out tonight. Uh, we're working on here for the heart. So we will see you tomorrow. Uh, blessings up out there. Thanks for watching our channel. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. I want to hear your comments. Uh, and tell me what you think, what we filmed today. Uh, keep guiding me on what you want to see and I'll keep getting it up.